Shall we begin? Let's begin. Let's get this thing in the water. Hello, and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, we've got a whole slew of product reviews and kayaking tips and tricks and um, photography uses on a kayak and especially on an inflatable kayak. We're going to be reviewing all these different products and these different uh, kayaks and, and where to go and what to do and how to play with them and all that kind of stuff like that. So, hey, we're going to get started here shortly, but before you do, please, if you like our videos, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So hey, we'll be back in just a bit. Let's begin. Assemble here. We're going to have the same corner chop thing again. So you go in here and just slice that corner. Give your angle that you need. And don't slice your hand. And that makes your corner set up real nice. Now the last thing to do is put that other piece on. Then we can go to the drilling point of the mounting point and then finish it up as far as the uh, putting the uh, PVC glue on. And if you want to shoot the foam in there, you can. I'm going to. Now final fitting. That's what we're doing here. We'll take this piece and this piece and just fit them. Now, before you do this, you wanna keep this on a flat surface to make sure that your floating tripod is square, okay? I'm doing some final fit work right here. And basically, your construction part of this is done. And it turned out pretty cool. Now again, the reason for the different color is that your cameras will be facing here and going this way. So it'll be like that. And so you want to be able, when you're on the water, to see the relationship to the lens to where this thing because it moves all the time when you're on the water so let's go ahead and uh, get ready for the next section all right guys hey what we're going to do now is we're going to do ahead and mount the uh, quarter 20 to the upper center post of the uh, floating tripod to do that you just basically just mark the center point and then take your drill And punch it through. And that's basically all there is to that part. I mean, it's really, really easy. And then what I do is I take my utility knife and scrape off any of the uh, drill of matter that's left there. And then basically just take your quarter 20 and push it through just like that. And now take your, uh, your GoPro mount and if you're not going to cover this thing, all right, and just basically screw it in place. And this part of the installation is basically done. Now what I'm going to do is tighten this up just a little bit. And there we go. Now when you want to put your double on, which I'll just show you a, a very quick example here. When you want to go ahead and mount your, your two camera mount, or you just mount it on your uh, quarter 20 GoPro mount 
tighten it down and there you go now you're set up now for two GoPros okay but before we get on that part of it the hole is drilled now we can go ahead and finish up the upper section and then we'll do the uh, foam injection on the lower section so let's get on that all right for this next segment what we're going to do is do some of the adhesion and you want to make sure you don't have no mess here now it's critical that this goes on perfectly straight up and down now the way to do that I'm going to show you a quick example here because if this is not straight your cameras won't sit straight so once I get it where I know it's straight it's straight and straight now I'm going to take my little marking pen and put a tick mark here and here here and here now I'm going to line up those marks when I get ready to put the glue in so I'll take this off now you don't need a ton of this PVC glue I know when you're doing um, sprinklers and stuff like that you you go nuts with this all you need is just a little tiny bit on this outside right here like you're seeing right there and then all I'm going to do is go here and do a quarter turn until I line up that mark now you got to do this pretty quick because if you don't this thing ain't going to work now I want to do the same thing again Okay, that one's good and straight. Okay, now I want to do the same thing. Again, you don't have much time to do this, so when you're doing this, you've got to be quick. And turn it. Now I'm going to lay it down flat. And now my mount is in place. And as you can see, everything's straight up and down. So that one is done. When you're trying to get these sections out, sometimes when you were putting that pre-assembly in, it gets a little difficult. So just take a pair of channel locks or something like that, and then just kind of twist. It'll open right up. Now, keep this piece here in here to do your alignment. But it's not critical. Uh, the alignment for the square is done with the green ends because it's easier to do it that way. So basically do the same thing we just did before. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Okay, use one of the top pieces uh, as your guide and go ahead and take those out now we're going to do this one a little bit quicker because you've seen me do it so I'm just going to go ahead and do it now the T's are done now comes the critical part is to get your alignment 100% correct now for these ends it really doesn't matter but when we put it together that's when it does so what you want to do is make sure you have a clear area we're going to go ahead and do one piece here okay same process no different only thing i'm going to use is a short piece here to help me twist it now when i do the the 90s I put the cement straight in there go here and just twist it in place you want to get a quarter turn to lock it ok 
Okay, now before you put this thing together, make sure that the pieces you cut, those corner pieces, that they're aligned correctly, otherwise you're gonna have a mess. Okay, same thing again. Now what we're going to do is, because we're starting to square this, we want to make sure that this thing sits square. So we will go ahead and put this on like this, as you can see. And then we're going to, when we put the concrete on, make sure that our corner cuts are there and then line it up to where we know it's straight like that. And you don't have much time. Again, like I told you, there's not much time. So what we're gonna do is do the same process as before. I mean, very line amount of adhesive. Just pop it in there, done. Now, we want to take this and Bring it down, make sure that our corners are straight and that we are flat. And that one's done. We're gonna do the same thing here. construction or the glue part of this is done okay now we're going to glue this end and this end but we're not going to go to glue these two right here and here so same process as we did before and you don't have to worry about alignment here which is cool just put your goop in Put it in, twist it, that one's done. But we're gonna mold inject this here in a minute. It's gonna be kind of cool. Never done that before. Then put this one in, same thing. Get it in, twist it. And guys, basically this thing is done. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and Insulation spray this. I don't know how this works. I have no idea. Never used it before. All right. So what we got to do is I'm going to shoot this stuff in here and try to inject these lines. And hopefully there's enough pressure that will fill all the way around. Then I might go ahead and do the top piece too. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool idea. Get the excess out of the way here. And mount that piece of pipe in here. All right, as you can see here, I'm almost done with this, uh, this little project. And basically the unit has been injected with a, um, a foam and I'm going to get this where I want it. Then you can add the camo tape, which I do just to hide. It's for beautification purposes. It's really not that big a deal. But you can do that if you want. Is take this and just... And this is the Gorilla Tape. I like this stuff because it works really well and it's water, uh, water resistant.
And there you have it, guys. Um, then you just mount your cameras up, which I'll show you right now. And this is really easy to do. And if you need to adjust, you just loosen this right here and get it where you want them and then lock it down. Okay, then again, because of the green, you want your lenses pointing opposite direction. Okay, and this one. my lens cover off now I also have a remote watch that will launch both these cameras at the same time now that's really not needed but as you can see here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on and you'll see some field testing done with this out at Rainbow River this weekend of the new modified version and basically, that's all you need to do. And it's in, recording both directions, and it works out really, really cool. So what we're doing now is basically setting this thing up. Like I said, we could set it up for four cameras if you want. Those uh, will have to be with waterproof cases if you don't have like a Hero 5 Black. My problem is I wanna make sure that everything is clearing Make sure nothing is in the way of the, the frame. Okay, that's that one. And we're going to test it actually in the pool water to see if there's a stability issue. Don't know yet. Okay. Now here you've got four action cameras set up. Okay. Okay, that one's recording. We're going to do a test here. All right, here we go. See if it's going to hinder anything. Well, there you go, with four cameras recording. So you're getting from behind you, left, right, forward, backward everything you can possibly do so I may try that out this weekend while I'm up at Rainbow River to test out this new modified version and what I want to do now is flip it upside down and see if we have any issues there now we're recording underwater right now but it looks like the floaty and the additional weight is not a problem so there we go well, hey guys, we are out on the lake now, and uh, I wanted to show you uh, how to deploy and all that kind of stuff of the either twin or quad camera floaty. And this is it right here. And I've set it up for four cameras. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn all these on and uh, get us some footage from the boat and underwater remember i said we could do underwater with this so basically make sure if you're using a clone or not a uh, gopro hero 5 black 6 or 7 that the other two cameras here are waterproof the gopro sessions are waterproof so they can flip upside down and all that kind of stuff so it really works out pretty cool so what we're going to do is uh launch this thing in the water the first thing you have to do is to turn the cameras on Okay, these are recording right now. Basically, all you do is just push it off. All four cameras are recording right now. And as you can see, it works pretty cool. Now, also notice that the, uh, the different colors, the two green tell you which way the uh, Two GoPros are facing and then the two blues tell you which way the two sessions are facing so and understand that these things will move as you can see right here
And that's the cool thing about this whole deal is when you're out basically by yourself and you want to get some cameo shots or stuff like that, you just do paddle buys and stuff like that and it really works out cool. And you can see how the thing will maintain buoyancy and uh, like I said, I've got quad cameras on this so it's kind of cool to do it this way. Now my other one didn't have quad cameras, I only ran two. And then when I first started, I only had one. Now I found out by using the standard GoPro uh, handlebar mounts, that makes it to where I can convert it from a two camera to a four camera or a three camera. But uh, that worked out really well. So guys, hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I know it's a long video, but I wanted to run you through the entire complete process. you can enjoy some of the footage that you can get. I'm just gonna turn around here and do a paddle by. And to retrieve it is really nothing. You just pull up alongside, reach out, and pick it up. And that's all there is to it, guys. Well, hey, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to build the uh, dual and quad action camera floating tripod. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's great to mess with, especially if you're out on a family outing. And you're, you're paddling. Now with my Hobie, I don't have to paddle so I can hold the camera. But I face the same problem that uh, I do all the time is when I want to get shots of myself um, in a particular place or something like that. I can't do it unless I go to the bank, set up a tripod and do it that way. But with the floatable tripods, I can do it anywhere. Then if you're in crystal clear water, there's a lot of fish or manatee or whatever like that, you just flip the cameras upside down and get some excellent footage. You wanna make sure that you angle your cameras down, uh, which would be up in the, in the straight up and down position. You would wanna angle them so they're pointing more towards the bottom of what you're uh, trying to film. But other than that, hope you enjoyed it. I know it was long. We'll see you on the next one.